Daffodash Yamaha Marine in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Northeast largest express dealer and one of the largest express dealers in the nation. I'm Andy. I'm the express guy here at FNS. If you contact us, more than likely you'll be speaking with me. I'm going to do a walkthrough of a 2023 Express H20 Bay in camo. This boat just came and is currently for sale. Be listed on our website here very shortly. 20 foot, of course, all welded, all aluminum bay boat. Yamaha 150 SHO, which is the max horsepower, this boat. Speed wise will run roughly uh, mid 50s uh, with a 150, depending on how it, uh, it's loaded and, of course, the water conditions that day. Stainless prop. 10 inch jack plate, manual jack plate, or we would be glad to upgrade to hydraulic, whatever you'd like. But it, uh, with a 150 on the uh, on the uh, H20s, they work much better with a 10 inch. Uh, either way, I suggest having a jack plate, um, either six inch or 10 inch, and the 10 inch works a little better with these 150s. Hydraulic steering, and it's upgraded to Uflex. So Uflex, uh, they have two options at Express, C-Star and Uflex. With the bay boats, I get all the bay boats with Uflex. It has better corrosion resistance than what the uh, C-Star system does. Of course, all aluminum trailer, which is made in-house by Express. This one's a tandem axle. Hydraulic disc brakes. Brakes on both axles, which is an upgrade. Lighted logo trailer step, which is pretty cool. This logo is lit. It's very bright at night. Matching aluminum spare tire. This is the duck boat package, and with the duck boat patch, you get camo color, camo seats. They spray the uh, floor liner on the console, which is a little bit more durable. And then also, too, like every Express that's made, they're sprayed on liner on top of the floor. They spray it everywhere, on top of the floor, on top of every lid, underneath every latch. Uh, it makes a uh, very durable and also helps quiet the boat down as well as you're going through the water. You probably see online that Express has quite a reputation for ride and handling. Uh, and in my opinion, the aluminum world is the best in the industry um, and rivals many fiberglass boats. And what makes that is their hyperlift pad haul. And with the pipe hyperlift pad haul, what that means is at the very back of the boat, at the bottom, there's a pad. The pad's about 12 inches wide and about two feet long. And when the boat's running fast with the motor trimmed up, the only thing that's in the water is the pad. That makes the boat go faster and it makes it ride better because there's very little of the boat in the water. And then along with the uh, steps of the hull, and the reverse chine, these boats will turn on a dime. It's not your conventional aluminum boat. When you turn it sharp, it'll skip like a rock. These will turn immediately. And how they're constructed as well. This is an example and a basic cutout of how the, the hull is constructed. So the yellow sticker is the bottom of the boat. This is the floor. And then you have cross members that run throughout and there's foam sprayed between the floor and the bottom of the boat. This makes a very quiet ride to damper the sound. Other upgrades with this boat is the extreme base stainless package. So then rod holders, steering wheel, leaning post with footrest and backrest, six cleats, Foldable cleats, they're all stainless. That's part of the Extreme Stainless Package. You can see the cleat peeking out over there at the corner. Like all Expresses, we go through every boat very thoroughly. What I mean by that is uh, every boat, not just Express, but every boat in the industry, uh, it's the dealer's responsibility to go through them very thoroughly and fix things that the factory missed. Uh, and that's very common for every boat brand. But we are very particular here. We go through boats very thoroughly. Um, it usually takes us a couple days to go through things. Um, and then we also go to the water and water test every boat before you receive it. Because there's certain things we can only test in the water. 
you look us up our Google reviews and Facebook reviews, we have great reputation. We we pride ourselves in our service reputation here at FNS. We're third generation. My grandfather started uh, in the business in the late 40s in a sporting goods store, and then dad spun out the, the boat business in the, in the late 80s. But check our reviews out. We're very proud of that. We have co we have customers from all over the nation come and get boats from us. Uh, pick up, and we also had delivery. Uh, we uh, deliver for a fee, and you hit me up, and I'd be glad to explain in more detail. We do a lot of special orders as well. Uh, I'll be glad to help you with that. I make info sheets to help you better understand all the different packages and options and scenarios. Uh, and uh, contact me, and I'll be, set, be glad to send you one of the info sheets and then talk to you about it as well. For special orders or reserve. So usually we have boats on order uh, most of the time as well when the boats can be reserved and then shorten the lead time. Jump it in the boat. This boat has Sea Deck floor covering. If you're not familiar with Sea Deck, Sea Deck is a floor covering uh, that basically has all the advantages of carpet with none of the disadvantages. And what I mean by that is hooks don't snag in it, it dries quickly, it's easy to clean. Down the road, if you damage a panel, you can just buy a small panel. It's very nice to walk on, it doesn't get hot. Jump it in the boat. Like I said, this is a 20 foot center console bay boat. Apologize, it's dirty. It just came. I didn't get a chance really to clean it. It just came from the factory. Upgrades to this also is the Extreme Redfish package. So with the Extreme Redfish package, you get aluminum rims on the trailer. And we get upgraded trolling motor and fish finder. But then we upgrade beyond the package to a Humminbird Helix 9 side imaging at the dash. And then a Minn Kota Tarova 80 pound with iPilot trolling motor. Or we'd be glad to exchange whatever you have in mind for Garmin, Humminbird, Minn Kota, add multiple grass, whatever you'd like to do. We do a lot of that here at FNS. And I'd be glad to help you uh, with that and explain everything and price it out and for what, whatever you have in mind. Do a lot of lithium battery upgrades here as well. Shaw water anchors. What we're looking at is the uh, bait well in front of the console, of course, in the seat. So these H series bay boats from Express have two live wells. There is a bait well slash live well here underneath the seat. And then there is also a live well behind the leaning post, which is right here. Rod storage, which goes up to the front of the boat. You can get up to eight foot rods in the rod storage. Nice little touches, like if you notice, there's actually a sea deck pad at the very bottom of the rod storage to help protect your rods. Little stuff like that that Express does. Jump seats, so underneath each, here is a seat on the other side as well. And then underneath each seat is an insulated cooler. Which is right here. 40 gallon fuel tank. Which is located at the very back of the boat. And there's little things that we upgrade with a lot of boats. Like for instance, this has an auto bilge pump as well. So you have two bilge pumps, a manual and an auto. There's a lot of little things like that that we do here at FNS that we look at every boat that we order as if we're going to be our own boat, that's how we would order it. Inside the console is where your trolling motor batteries are housed. And then your Minn Kota onboard charger. I appreciate you watching. You'll see our contact information at the bottom of the screen. Feel free to hit me up with any questions. Have a good day.